with a beautiful total moon eclipse. And this one, it's going to be on March 13 to the 14th. Now, it's going to be <laughs> in early hours of the morning, pretty much after midnight. And this event is going to last around six hours. Settings for the Dwarf 2 and 3. Be sure to level the tripod. This is a very important step. There is no scheduling feature for the moon or solar imaging and no EQ mode. Use the dual lenses to focus and find the moon. Use the joystick to center the moon on the screen. There is no calibration for moon photography. Keep the lenses facing the moon, and this is the front part of the telescope. Go to Functions and Enable Moon Track. Now pick the mode you want to use, and I'm going to tell you the different settings. Now this is the time to out of focus, and also pick VIS Filter. Once everything is set, do not touch, do not move the telescope anymore or you will have to start all over again. Now let's start with the photo mode, which is uh, one frame at a time. These are good starting points uh, for the exposure time. Be sure to have gain zero. For the hue and white balance, this is as preferred as everybody's going to have it a little bit different. Just play a little bit with the settings. If it's not looking sharp, you can uh, do some focusing manually. Now let's look at the specific uh, settings for the three faces penumbral. Here the moon is still bright, so be sure to have gain zero. Changing from partial to total, you may have to increase up to one second gain zero. Getting into totality, things are getting a little more complicated as the moon is getting darker. And this is the time you may have to start adjusting exposure time from 0.5 to 2 seconds. Also start changing the hue and the white balance to get those reddish tones. If your brain is full of galactic dust right now and you cannot assimilate everything that I am saying, you can join my YouTube membership for $3.99 a month, you will get the PDF with all the steps on the settings and all the steps of the uh, tutorial. That way you have it right away and you don't have to figure out, let's clear that galactic dust. The time lapse is a great mode to capture the eclipse. Set the intervals and duration, for example, a five seconds interval with a 10 minute duration, it's going to create a four second video. Well, you will have to do lots of those. Be very creative as this is a very long event for about six hours. So play with the sliders and the time. This is a great mode to capture the eclipse, the time intervals, one second to 60 seconds and set the number of counts, which is how many frames you want. There is a delay in saving the photos after hitting the stop button. Let the telescope finish the process. Video mode is another great to capture it. Be sure the memory has sufficient space. Be sure to practice the night before. You can even practice with the sun during the daytime. Just be sure to put the solar filters, but it's pretty much about the same settings, the same processes and have fun. Keep me posted.